Russia began attack on Kharkov with new tactics, catching Ukrainian army by surprise. The Times. At the initial stage of the new offensive in the Kharkov region, the Russians used completely new tactics, which was one of the reasons for its success in the first days of the battle. A fighter from the Kraken special unit with the call sign Drago, who was among the first to meet the Russians at the border, told the Times about this. According to the special forces soldier, he and his brothers in arms watched helplessly as Russian troops accumulated on the other side of the border for several weeks. The Ukrainians simply did not have the opportunity to launch a pre strike due to the ban on the use of Western weapons on Russian territory imposed by donor countries. There were a lot of Russians gathered there and we could have destroyed them on the way, but we have few ATA CMS and we have a ban on their use. We had to wait until they crossed the border, Drago said and complained that this policy of the US cost his unit some casualties. However, this was not the only factor that contributed to Russian success in the early days of the invasion. As the fighter says, the Ukrainians expected a typical frontal attack using armored vehicles from the aggressor, but were taken by surprise by the new tactics of small infantry groups that infiltrated between the strongholds of the defense forces and entered the Ukrainians' rear. In addition, on the first day of the invasion, the Russians deployed their elite special forces unit to crush resistance along the border as quickly as possible. Ironically, Russia's elite special forces ran straight into the first airborne assault company, Drago. Specialized night fighters in the service of the main intelligence directorate of the Ukrainian Ministry of Defense. Together with others, they were redeployed from Donbass to reinforce the mobilized soldiers who were covering Kharkov. They passed through swamps and forests almost unnoticed by our attack drones. The neighboring units were newly formed. People who did not yet have combat experience, they were next to us, trying to hold the line of defense, but the enemy, numbering 20 people, approached us in the rear, said Drago. The Drago team of six fighters found themselves divided into two groups and sandwiched in a trench with two dugouts. They were surrounded by a predominant number of Russians and had to break out of the encirclement. After a fierce battle, when the trenches were already burning and the situation seemed hopeless, the fighter called artillery fire on his position, hoping that he would be able to survive in the trench.